Okay, this is a video to get you guys started on the composite shapes practice or irregular shapes, uh, mainly for quarantine kids. Um, what I wanted the, the class to do first is to hop onto this Desmos activity just to get a real quick um, glimpse of what we're doing. Okay, we're going to take, we're going to be taking irregular shapes like this. Okay, this looks like two rectangles side by side. Okay, but we're going to look at shapes that don't have the little squares inside. Okay, and we're going to be finding the area of it. Um, if I wanted to find the area of this shape, and especially if I didn't have all the little squares, okay, I could break it apart into two rectangles, like the ones you see here, one on the left, one on the right. And then you could find the area of each of those shapes. Okay, remember area is the number of squares inside. And then add those two answers together. Okay, I could have also taken that shape that we started with and broke it apart at a different place and looked at a rectangle on the top and a rectangle on the bottom. And I could have found the area of the top rectangle, the area of the bottom rectangle, Okay, do that separately and then add your two answers up. Okay, this is just kind of a real brief introduction to the big idea. Okay, we're going to use these formulas, or we may not need them all, but these are good formulas to know just in case. Area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. Area of a trapezoid is one half times adding both of the bases up, because there's two bases in a trapezoid, times the height. Okay, let's do a problem or two together. Okay, this is a, an irregular shape. Um, I want to find the area of the whole thing. Uh, they already uh, have it had it divided up into two shapes with one on top, one on the bottom. Okay, now we could have made the division uh, piece right here. We could have divided it up with the rectangle on the right and the rectangle on the left. Okay, but that's just the way they did it on this problem. So we could find the area of shape A, shape B, and then add the two answers up. Okay, so the area of shape A. Okay, this is a rectangle length times width would give me the area. So 10 times 2 equals 20 centimeters squared. You want to try to do the little square um, on your centimeters. It's control period. Okay, the area of shape B. Okay, again, it's a rectangle, length times width. So we would take 7 times Four, which is 28 centimeters squared. Okay, so if you want the total area, you would just add both of those up. You would add 20, because there's 20 little squares. Think of it this way. There's 20 little squares inside the first shape. And there's 28 little squares inside the second shape. Okay, so all together there'd be 20 plus 28 little squares inside altogether. So it'd be 48 centimeters squared. Okay, so there's a good example. Let's look at one more together with a triangle. Okay, we have two shapes connected together. We have a rectangle on the bottom and we have a triangle on top. So let's think of shape A as being the rectangle. Okay, we can find the area of each shape and then add the two answers up. So the area of that rectangle on the bottom, length times width. Okay, that's 24 times 8. Okay, 24 times 8. I don't care if you use a calculator for this particular assignment. I'm doing that myself. I'm getting 192 feet squared. Okay, the triangle is one half times base times height. 
Okay, remember the base is the bottom, and the height is how high it is. Okay, one half okay, times. Okay, now the base. Got to think a little bit. Uh, look at this real, real carefully here. The base of that triangle. Can you see that that's the same as the length of the rectangle? Okay, it's twenty-four. Okay, and the height has to be straight up from that base, okay, to the top. Okay, so we're looking at this distance right here. They don't give it to us, do, do they? But here's what they do give us. They give us that this distance right here is 8. And they give us the total distance all the way up is 12. Okay, so can you see that this 8 plus the missing piece that we need, the height, has to add up to 12. So that missing height has to be 4. Okay, because this 4 combined with this 8 would give me that 12. Okay, you had to, had to think about that. So 1 half times 24 times 4. The height would be 4. Okay, when you multiply left to right, if it was me, 1 half times 24, I would think of that as 1 half of 24. And 1 half of 24 is 12. And then if I multiply 12 by 4, I get 48. So 48 feet squared. So no, I didn't get my key in there. Okay, so there are 192 little squares inside this rectangle. We got that by, by taking length times width. There's 48 little squares inside that triangle. Okay, now if I want to know the total area, I want the total amount of squares. Okay, so I need to add up the 192 squares in the rectangle to the 48 little squares inside the triangle Okay, add those up, I get 240 squares. Okay, I get 240 feet squared. Okay, so we found the area of the rectangle. We found the area of the triangle separately. Okay, length times width for the rectangle, one half times base times height for the triangle, and we added up the two answers to get the total area. Okay, try the next two on your own. Uh, do the best you can. If you're quarantined, guys, uh, please contact me if you're having trouble, and I, I can help you individually.